Oh, really, really proud of the team's effort. Really proud of how they stepped up when John went out. But uh, bittersweet um, as a coach, uh, I think all parents can relate to. Um, whenever you see your child or one of your players get hurt like that, and they work so hard. Um, don't know uh, the severity of it, but obviously it didn't look good. So our hearts go out and prayers go out to them and hope for the best. As far as today, I thought defensively really did a good job, and uh, I thought Flo really did a great job uh, uh, picking up for John when he went out and staying out of foul trouble. And um, I thought uh, uh, we were able to get a lead and then really credit uh, uh, the guys for uh, um, staying locked in because Coach Beard does a great job changing stuff up and adjusting, and, you know, they're going to keep competing to the end. Scott, did you feel like your team kind of rallied around each other after uh, John went down? Yeah, I was really, really proud of how they how they did that because obviously uh, uh, John's so likable and uh, everybody uh, uh, was hurting and feeling and um, uh, they did a great job in uh, uh, saying we're going to pick this up for you, John, and we're going to win this one for you. John, what did you see when that happened? Actually, actually, I didn't even see it till a second ago on the replay, and that's one of those plays you don't like looking at. He's such a good kid, such a hard worker. You hate it. Uh, I mean, we haven't had an ACL injury, I don't think, since 2008, maybe nine, something a long time ago. And now we possibly have a couple in one year. And we've, we've been more banged up this year. Uh, we haven't had a rotation back since the beginning of January. And normally you'll miss a guy for a week, two weeks. But we've – James, LJ, Adam, um, Jeremy. And it's not a one-day thing. So I uh, really credit the guys. Um, our Assistant coach has done a great job changing up game plans and putting things together, and uh, everyone's done a good job rallying because uh, in the Big 12, you know there's not much margin for error, and you know the parity's there. So it's hard when you're competing night in, night out, and don't have everybody. I think uh, uh, guys really locked in, um, really rotated well, really moved well. Um, and it, it, a lot of it's because uh, you have so much uh, uh, respect because, you know, you're, you're playing a very talented team and a very well-coached team. So, you know, you have to be on, on your A game. Yeah, it was. A, yeah, I, I thought uh, K-State was uh, really big for us, um, especially uh, uh, um, how we all felt leaving uh, Lawrence and uh, really credit the guys for practicing hard and uh, um, really locking in. And I thought uh, um, uh, after after a tough loss like that, I mean, the first thing is it's it's on me. We we played poor, and, and so we changed some things up, and uh, the guys really responded well. It seemed like Flo responded really well uh, today. Well, you know, shot blocking. Yeah. Is that an area you've just seen him continue to improve? It seems like his timings. Mm -hmm. Maybe you know better than it was, obviously. Yeah, he's he's gotten better throughout the years, but I think uh, uh, also the big thing for him has been foul trouble because when when he has John, he knows he can be extra aggressive, and I think um, he did a great job playing without fouling today. And Texas got a lot of skilled guys, so he really had to work at it. And um, when he's when he's around the rim and blocking shots, obviously that picks us up defensively, and he's capable. Uh, what did you see from Akinjo? Yeah, I thought uh, uh, James is really starting to get back to himself after that tailbone injury, and uh, um, you can always tell when he's back to himself because he's doing his his uh, extra workouts and he's always drenched coming to practice. And he's a rep guy, so the more reps he gets in, the better he plays, the better he feels. Scott, how much of a game plan for them? How much is it don't let them get set up defensively and just attack their bigs? Because every loss they've had is mm -hmm. basically the common thing. I think uh, um, th this league is uh, – uh, uh, because it, the, the the parody, a lot of it comes down to to. Um, I, I used to hate this, but my dad and older coaches always say this. Hope, hopefully, you make shots, and you know what? When you make shots, it spreads the defense out, allows you to get to the paint. If you miss shots, it's it, it, it's harder. It gets the other team in transition. So, I mean, um, I know they had some good looks that they probably normally make, and that that affected some of what they did. Credit our guys for doing a good job on the glass. Scott, after they hit that bucket right there at the end of the half, how important was it for you guys to kind of maybe 
get that back, and I think you scored the first six points in the second half. Yeah, I thought I thought uh, uh, Ramey made a really tough shot, and um, normally you 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 can uh, the end of the half can lead to the start of the second half. And big thing is we want to just encourage our guys because uh, I mean he made a great play and uh, didn't want to go in on a down down note. But uh, hey, let's keep doing what we're doing. If they make those shots, so be it. Scott, uh, Coach Beard said they were shooting a lot of fadeaways, weren't really taking it to the basket that well. Was that kind of the plan? I think I think defensively we did a great job rotating, and then I think uh, the shot block and a flow probably affected some of them. And we we, we got some length with Matt, Jeremy, and, and Kendall. I mean, those are long guys. Scott Flo played a career high thirty minutes. Did you feel like he was getting winded in the second half? Or? Yeah, when he looked like he wanted to come out, we just didn't look at him. So <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those, you know. I want. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, he he was much better in the training room than on the court, and I know on the court he was pretty shook. Um, Dave did a great job. Snyder comforted him, and then uh, um, in the training room, just gave him a quick hug before coming out. And, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we we've had great uh, uh, student turnouts. The crowd's been really good. But eleven o'clock games, you always get worried because um, I mean, eleven's early on Saturdays, and I thought uh, uh, they they really did a great job showing up and bringing the energy and excitement. You got to have that because uh, uh, Big Twelve games. If you don't have that energy and that home court advantage, it's really hard. Everywhere you go, everybody has it. So, uh, really credit the guy, uh, the the fans today for making a difference. Well, uh, you saw John go down. Uh, I mean, I, I was kind of down when it happened. Uh, also, it was kind of like a media timeout type thing. So just seeing him like, you know, like hard coming off coming off of the floor, it was just so it was just like a moment, and I just kind of took that in. Just we made eye contact, and yeah, it was just hard. It was really hard. It seemed like the guys kind of rallied, though. You know, kind of wrapped it up. And played really mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. Um, I'm just proud of the guys, and they, they showed up. Uh, we had, I mean, whether it was through scout and everything, the guys were just locked in and, and prepared, and also John going down and just gave them extra motivation to just go out there and, you know, play and represent him, too. Have you all had a chance to visit with him at all? I know it's an extremely tough time for him. Uh, I mean, at halftime, you know, we all came in there. Uh, coach, before we went out, out of the media, we prayed for him. Um, we'll definitely be checking on him, you know, Non-stop after this, but uh, yeah, I know he's with his family and everything, so I know it's tough. So we want to be there for him, but don't overwhelm him because it's, it's crazy that it happened, you know. So. Adam, you uh, took that heat check, from Steph Curry, right? <laughs> when, that go, when that goes in, do you know it's only popping after that? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, when I, um, you know, pride myself on you know continuing to expand my range and everything. So, um. Guys are guarding me you know, at the at the three point line, so if I can extend, you know, I can be a lot more um, effective out there, and you know, helping my teammates. So when I made that, yeah, I definitely felt good. You know, so. Well, clearly you played a career thirty minutes tonight with John out. You're gonna have to play more. What does that do for your mindset moving forward? Uh, I mean, my mindset doesn't change. The team always comes first, and being here for four years, you always got to put the team first and do whatever it is that's required for us to win. So. Minutes and no minutes, just got to do out there and play the good intangibles, whether it's rebound, play hard on defense, and all the other stuff. Scott said, uh, when, when you got tired, you looked over to, to get a blow. They pretended they didn't see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he they kind of waved me off, and also they, they was worried about the fouls because they're like, hey, Flo, you got to show your hands, show your hands. So I was like, yeah, I'll try not to foul. But yeah. How, how important was this week for you guys to bounce back after? Saturday and to, to have the week you guys just did? Uh, yeah, it's, it's very important, you know, um, going, you know, one and oh every time we get on the court, you know, is our big motto. So having the opportunity to just let go of what happened and, you know, continue to, you know, push on with the season, you know, go to Kansas State and win and then come home and just win. It's just, it's big, you know, so we're going to continue that momentum and just continue to stick together, you know, through the tough times, through the good times and bad times, so. 
Is it a little hard to celebrate this win, considering what happened to John? Uh, we always celebrate, you know, Big 12 is very difficult uh, to win, you know, it's the best conference in the country, but definitely when we have a brother down, it's definitely frustrating and uh, sad to see. So, um, yeah, I'll give you a smile, but <laughs> it's very, very difficult seeing our brother on the floor. When Matthew hits an early three like that, did you almost sense like the crowd went crazy, you know, it's like, whoa, uh, you know, I guess it's like Myers back or something. Do you, do you all, uh, feed off something like that? Oh, definitely. You know, he's uh, one of the best players I've ever played with offensively. So when he does get going, you know, it opens so much for everybody else. So, you know, seeing him make those shots, you know, it gets us more and more confident. You know, we feed off him. So. Adam, how have you guys been able to overcome all this? Um, just leaning on guys and understanding it not ourselves, to be honest. You know, it's – uh, last year, you know, we didn't have to really go through as many injuries. You know, this year we're facing some different battles. But uh, as a team, we're, you know, continuing to stick together. You know, we have the leaders that continue to keep us all together. And the coaching staff really does a good job of monitoring and choosing days where we might need to rest. And, you know, so. Adam, we talked about how John had kind of started to step into the role of a leader. When he went down, who was it maybe in the huddle that really stepped up as the leader of this group? Um, it was it was more of a team effort, to be honest. You know, we have guys, me, Flo, James, you know, even Jeremy, guys all around, you know, are communicating. And it's just it's so much more powerful when everybody is chiming in and talking and just all in one, you know. So, um, yeah, the, the leadership part, you know, we have me as well as Flo. But at the end of the day, when guys are talking and giving their input, you know, just it just blesses us even more. So. Beating Texas is such a big deal for Baylor fans. Is it also – uh, no, nah, not really, to be honest. I mean, it's just it's really another game. I know um, there's a rivalry, I guess. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, they're a Big 12 team, and every team we play against, we want to beat. So. Adam, there was a stretch where James just, it was almost like he took over, right? Scored three or four buckets in a row. Is that just kind of maybe the way this offense works, hot hand? Like yeah, definitely. Whoever has high hand, you know, we're a selfless bunch. You know, whoever has high hand at the end of the day, we want to win. So if somebody's on fire, you know, we're going to get them the ball.